Hello friends, welcome to the video series on interview question for SQL PL SQL developers. In this video, we'll see about the ranking functions like rank and dense rank and how to use these ranking function as aggregate function and analytical function. So before we start understanding how to use these as an aggregate and analytical function, let us understand the uh, ranking methodology. Okay. So for a easier understanding, I have an employee table which consists of like 14 employees and I have just uh, ordered it by a salary in the descending order so that it is easy for us to rank. Suppose in this case, if you want to give a rank based on his salary, typically we'll start with the maximum salary. We would rate the uh, king with 5200 salary as a rank rank 1. Followed by, uh, there are two people who are getting uh, 3000 as the salary. So we will, since there are uh, records uh, tying in this particular uh, salary, will give the same rank to both the person like for Scott and Ford the salary is 3000 so typically we'll give second rank for both the person since we have given the second rank for two people typically we'll skip the next rank and for John we'll typically start with rank as 4 so followed by uh, the Blake as rank 5 followed by the clerk as rank 6 followed by Alan as rank 7 and again there are two people who are sharing the same salary that is 1500 so for Miller and Turner, we'll be giving the rank as 8. Since we have given uh, the same rank for two people, we will skip the next rank. So the next rank will start with 10. And again, the next rank position also is taken by like two persons. So we are just giving 10 for two people. That's why we are skipping the next rank. So the next rank would be like 12, 13, followed by 14. So this is like one way of ranking. Uh, let us call it as like a rank methodology. There is another way by which we will be ranking. Of course, it's exactly similar, but whenever there is a tie or whenever two people uh, take the same ranking, in the next approach, typically we will not skip the ranking. In the second method, the ranking will be just continuous. For example, the first rank, first rank will be obviously one, followed by two, since uh, Scott and Ford uh, took the uh, got the same salary. In this case, then we will not be skipping the next salary instead of giving four here we will just start with three so in this approach it will we, it, the rank will be just a continuous it's like a densely populated it's it's not like a discontinuity rank since it is like a continuous in this case we will call it like a dense rank so these are the two ways by which generally the ranks are computed to achieve this we have like two function one is called rank which typically to compute the first methodology of rank and another function is called dense underscore rank to compute the second way. So in fact the difference between a rank and dense rank is very simple. In rank the rank may not be continuous if there is a tie. Same way in dense rank the dense ranking will be the continuous there will not be any discontinuity. The, tip, the best example is this portion. Okay, In here the rank is like discontinuity after two there is no person getting third rank whereas in the dense rank the rank is like continuous so these are the two functions now let us understand how to use a rank and a dense rank function as an aggregate function and as an analytical function so first we'll start with the aggregate function so we know that we have like a, a lot of aggregate functions like a, a min max average sum count all these things are aggregate function a typical definition for aggregate function is like aggregate function typically takes like multiple row of input and do the aggregation and just return one single value. Uh, same thing like here, rank can be used either as an aggregate function or as an analytical function. When we are using as an aggregate function, rank will help us to compute the rank of a particular value in the given data set. For example, if you want to compute the rank of uh, 1600, okay, uh, typically we need to find all the rank, then find the rank of a 1600. Instead of that, by using the rank as well as dense rank as an aggregate function, we can find the find the rank of the particular number in the given result set. Let us understand better with an example now. So here is the same data set. Okay. So the syntax for using the rank as an aggregate function is as I mentioned, we need we are going to find the rank of a particular number. So in this case, I'm just taking 1600. So rank of 1600 within group is a keyword order by 
salary descending obviously rank we will be able to compute in an ordered group right so this will just compute and tell what is the rank of a number in fact we can uh, use like other uh, columns also suppose if i say commission we can use like salary comma commission also so that means for this particular group it will just take what is the rank so for right now i will just take only the salary portion so this is about so this is how we will be computing a rank for a particular value exactly holds good for dense rank however dense rank comp computes the dense rank value if you can see here rank is 7 whereas dense rank is 6 that's what we have already computed for allen so this is about how we will use the rank and dense rank as an aggregate function so the key learning here is that rank and dense rank will help us to find the rank or dense rank of a particular given input value within the given ordered result set so that is about the rank and dense rank as an aggregate function now we'll see how to use rank and dense rank as an analytical function we'll understand with an example now now we'll compute the rank and dense rank as an analytical function analytical function is like different from aggregate because here we are not going to do any aggregation analytical function will just computes the rank and display for each and every uh, employee here in fact it compares with all the other uh, salaries and it will just display first let us start with rank over order by salary descending so this is about the uh, rank of the employee in fact the exactly the same thing if you want to compute the dense rank we just use the dense rank uh, function the advantage of analytical function is that we can do uh, the analytical class itself will support us providing the partition by class so we can say like a partition by let's say if you want dip, uh, department number okay of course a department number is not there let me take from employee department number okay now we will say over partition by department department number order by cell doesn't think exactly the same thing we can use like dense rank so that uh, one second more come on yeah so that for each department wise we will be able to compute the uh, salary in, in fact like both the um, ranking as well as the dense ranking so this is about the analytical function so the key learning here is that analytical function will help us to compute the rank for all the employees here it, it's it's a bit different from the aggregate just to quickly summarize the aggregate function and analytical function whenever we want to compute a rank for a particular value in a result set we'll be using an aggregate function it's not necessary that you have to give the exactly the same value in the result set you can give any value it it, it just computes the hypothetical rank and returns back same way like in case of analytical function it just helps us to compute the rank as well as the dense rank for the given result set the advantage is that we can use the partition by class to uh, do a sub partitioning within the result set and we can compute the ranking and dense ranking if you have learned something new please like this video subscribe and stay tuned for new feature videos interview questions SQL practical questions and concept video if you want any questions to be answered you can post in the comment section or you can drop to this mail id thanks a lot for watching this video